The difference between these boots and traditional magnetic boots is the liner. It's got nine um, 2,600 gauze magnets in it, which are similar to other products on the market today. The problem with magnetic boots is the hot spots that the magnets create. And this is why you can only have the magnetic boots on for a short period of time. With these boots, the magnetic field is spread throughout the liner. And this is done by way of a woven steel filament that is put through the whole of the liner, which so effectively the magnetic field ceases to be just surrounding the hot spot of the magnet itself and conducts right the way around the whole liner which means that the leg has a much more even spread, which means it can be then in turn left on for a longer period of time. The magnets in this new boot are strategically placed to give good coverage. The top two magnets cover the upper tendon and suspensory area. The mid two here cover the main flexor tendon and also the splint area. Lower down, we've got one on either side that are covering the sesamoid area, one on the back of the fetlock joint, and then two which are effectively at the wind gall level. Fitting these new boots to the hock could not be easier. There are three elasticated straps, one at the top that goes right the way round and locates on the far side. Now that has to be readjusted once the other two straps have been put into position. The reason the elastication is so important is because when the horse is in a stable, you can leave the horse without tying it up. So if it did lie down or you were leaving them for longer periods of time, if it got up and down, there's enough movement in the straps to allow the boot to flex with the horse. The venting in the back of these hot boots is absolutely vital. It releases any heat that's built up from the liner and the effect of the magnets on the inside because 2,600 gauze magnets are very powerful and they can create a lot of heat and effect. One of the key features of this new conductive boot is the way the liner is set up. It has a lovely soft inner lining of brushed cotton, a memory foam for protection, but importantly an outer lining of bamboo which helps heat and sweat uh, move away from the leg. This is also further enhanced by the vents in the very back of the boot. It moulds, particularly with the memory foam, very nicely around the leg, so you'll get a close contact with all the magnets to both the fetlock and the main tendon and front of the leg.